Good evening, Veronica. How was your day? Good evening, teacher. I am so tired. I'm still working. Oh, you're still at work. Wow. Yeah. And what do you have to do now there? Um, I prepare two papers for, for credit for the people. Um, mm -hmm. I'm working in in the cooperativa. It's like bank. Ah, uh, yeah, yes. What what cooperative are you working? In Acacepsa. Where is it? Where is it? Because I I, I have a, an account in a cooperative. Uh, that is there uh, near Cafe Don Pedro. I cannot listen to you. Maybe maybe it's for um, listen um and names for brothers cooperatives. <laughs> sister cooperatives because all the all the yes the I, I know that all the cooperatives are working together now they are like in a chain uh, because uh, you can put you can put some money from one cooperative to another yeah yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. i guess that it's better to have your money in a cooperative than in a bank yeah it's more for here yes that yes. the, the more... only thing that they didn't had when when i when i still was working with them is mm -hmm. a credit cards but now you have a credit card that is uh, even better than than the ones from no, not credit, but debit, debit card. We have the, the debit card, mm -hmm. but, but it's still, it's still working for the credit card. No, I guess that if you don't have credit card, it's better. It's better yeah. to work with the money that you already have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, but it's very necessary here, really, because it's that the people, it's other, other product for the the cell. You know, I, maybe you can you can uh, give them this this. Uh, for example, I have a check account with mm -hmm. bank, mm -hmm. and 
it, it is with with uh, what they call it. Um, I have eight hundred dollars mm -hmm. more. Mm -hmm. That means that that if I don't have money in in my account, I mm -hmm. still can make a checks or use money up to eight hundred forty something like that. It's like a credit, but automatically uh, uh, that I have in in that in that in that uh, account, you can work something like that. That mm -hmm. you, it, uh, if you don't have the money, you can you can use it up to that uh, some some uh, uh, amount according yeah. to 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 the to the to the to the cell to the money that they can and monthly I had to have it in zero mm -hmm. okay so I can use it but I had to put it before the month ends yeah but you can work mm -hmm. something like that yeah maybe but... instead instead of making a credit card you yeah. they use the debit card, but it is like an uh, extra financial that you Second. have but in your same account. Yeah. yeah. But maybe it's and remember for the is this product is for mm, compete for the for the bank. Yes, because, to compete. Uh -huh. To, yeah. to compete against them, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. the, the credit cards are, well, it, maybe if you work it, it differently because the yeah. credit cards from the banks are horrible. I don't have really? credit card here in, 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 in Panama. And I say <laughs> to myself, that is better that I don't have it. <laughs> yes. Okay, let's start then. Hello, everybody. How was your day? We have a nice, a nice um, uh, class for today because I know the information from, from the platform was very small, but then I do my homework and I find more information. And I also have, let me say, I also have a little something for you that I made. Because today we don't have, today we don't have, uh, in the portion that I decided to, to because remember that this 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 uh, week we only will cover section three in the midterm exam. So I, I already divided the the information from the platform. Okay. So I will share this with you through WhatsApp. We will have a, a kind of test, but it's, it's not a test, it's a quiz about what uh, we will, uh, I, what I will be presenting to you. But I will share the quiz because the quiz is not in the platform, it's something I made. So you can access through this link, but don't get there yet. I will tell you when, okay? But you already have it. Yes, I have. Okay. Now, let's go on. Somebody could read this, please. Uh, 
for me? Yes. The end product of education should be a free, creative man who can better, 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 battle. I don't know, battle, battle. battle against his historical circumstances and adverse adversities of nature. Okay. Yeah. The end product of education should be a free creative man who can yeah. battle against historical circumstances and adversities of nature. Okay, that should be the end product of education. O sea, el producto de la educación debería de ser un hombre libre y creativo que pueda combatir contra las eh, circunstancias históricas y las adversidades de la naturaleza. Ok. But, but that should be education. That means that education should let you be free. Ok. Not like, no like, uh, the traditional education that seems to have the children ready to work uh, uh, in a manufacturer thing. Have you ever, have you ever been to a manufacturer uh, workshop? ¿Alguna vez han estado en, 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 un, en una, lo que le llaman maquila? Yes. Si se fijan las maquilas, así como que usted fue, como que usted entrara a un salón de clase. Todos en línea y todos haciendo lo mismo. ¿Verdad? Entonces, ¿qué creatividad se necesita para trabajar en una maquila? Usted tiene que pasar haciendo lo mismo todo el día. Si va a cortar una pieza, cortando la misma pieza todo el día. Si va a estar cosiendo una cosa, cosiendo lo mismo todo el día. O sea, no, no, no hay creatividad. Okay. Uh, the, the, the same as in education, because I, I have worked with Montessori education and that model is more likely to be free because the student has the choice to do the thing that he likes. But he has to cover all the things, but on his time. Okay. I I like that. And my my son said that he doesn't like he, he's very clever. And he said that he doesn't like the, the way the the education is. And I say, yes, you are right. Education is not is not good for people like you. And then he said, if I were a minister of education, I could change that thing, become a minister of education and change it, I said. And he said, why, why, why do you say that? Because it's true. You want to, you want to fight against the, against the, all the, all, all this, this, things that we have in education, you have to go there using the same system. Go there and then change it. You can do it. Now he has a, a plan. And he, he is writing it down because I said, I like everything that you say. And I'm, I'm a teacher and I know that all the methods that you are thinking of are good, but write them down, write them down, because someday you will need to present a project and then you already have it. <laughs> okay, now, in this lesson, participants will listen to sentence stress in order to improve pronunciation. Have you done this? ¿Ya hicieron esto? Yes, I do. Okay. It, it, this is very little because it's just one, one, this sentence, and you have to listen to it 
you are supposed to listen to it several times. Then uh, it says, excuse me, they're perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive, okay? Excuse me, they're perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive, okay? And that's it. But now I found some information about stress and the importance of stress sentence. Now, uh, repeat after me. Sentence stress. Sentence stress. Is the music of spoken English. Is the music, is the of, music, the music of spoken English. Like for the stress. Like, like word stress. The stress. Sentence stress can help you. Sentence stress can help you. To understand spoken English. To understand, to understand spoken, spoken English. Even rapid spoken English. Even rapid, Even rapid spoken, spoken English. English. Sentence stress. Sentences Sentences stress. Stress. Sentences stress is what gives English its rhythm or beat. Is what giving English its or beat. Rhythm, rhythm, rhythm. or beat. Rhythm or beat. or beat. You remember that word stress is accent on one syllable. Do you remember? Do you that remember word that word stress is accent on one syllable? One syllable. On one syllable, within a word. Within a, a word. Sentence stress is accent on certain words within a sentence. Sentence stress, sentence stress is accent on certain words within a sentence. sentence. Okay. okay. Sentence have two basic types of words. Most sentences have two basic types of words. Content mm -hmm. words, structural words. Okay, we have two types of words within a sentence. Content words and structural words. Content words are the keywords of a sentence. They are the important words that carry the meaning or sense that means the real content, okay? Structured words are not very important words. They are small, simple words that make the sentence correct grammatically. They give the sentence its correct form. It is the structure, okay? Now, which of these do you think is the most important? The content words or the structured words? Structure. No. Uh, the when you, words. When you have the a sentence, words. when you have a sentence, if you words. take out, if you take out the structured words, you still can understand the sentence or the meaning of the sentence. But if you take out the content words, you won't understand anything because there is no content, okay? Let's see. If you remove the structure words from a sentence, you will probably still understand the sentence. If you remove the content words from a sentence, you will not understand the sentence. The sentence has no sense or meaning. Here we have, imagine that you said, uh, you received this Telegram message. Uh, have you ever used a Telegram? Yes. I remember that when you write a, a Telegram, since well, when, when I was young, it was expensive to send a, a Telegram because they I charge see. you on each 
uh, word in, on each uh, five cents for each word. Uh huh. For each word, then uh, you have to be very careful when when you you when you are writing something because you have to know the, uh, the what you mean. What do you want to to let the people know without without uh, putting a lot of words that are uh, waste? Okay, so sell car gone friends. O sea, ahí se entiende. Vende carro, me fui a Francia. ¿Ok? It, structurally, it's not correct. O sea, estructuralmente no se mira correcto. But, you got the message. ¿Ok? This sentence is not complete. It is not a grammatically correct sentence. But you probably understand it. These four words communicate very well. Somebody wants you to sell their car for them because they have gone to France. We can add a few words. Sell my car. I've gone to France. Aquí ya está un poco más estructurado, ¿verdad? Pero siempre los más importantes son sell, car, gone, and friends. The new words do not really add any more information, but they make the message more correct grammatically. We can add even more words to make one complete grammatically correct sentence, but the information is basically the same. Will you sell my car because I've gone to France? Esta ya no parece este, un telegrama, ¿verdad? ya parece más una carta. Pero Básicamente, si usted se fija, va desde aquí. Now, repeat after me. Sell car gone France. Sell, sell, sell car gone France. France. The information you need is there. Okay? Now, sell my car. Sell my sell car. My car. My car. I've gone France. I've, I've gone, gone to France. France. This I've is I have. I mm -hmm. have gone to France. Esto está en, en presente perfecto. El presente perfecto es algo que ya sucedió en el pasado que todavía está afectando el presente. O sea, I have gone to France. Me he ido a Francia. ¿Verdad? Entonces, aquí ya está mucho más estructurada la oración, pero siempre lo más importante, si se fijan, aquí lo que está en amarillo, are content words, and the ones in, in, in pink is the structure words. If you take out the content words, if you only have, will you, my, because I, to, ¿Entiende qué es lo que quiero decir ahí? No, no. ¿Entiende? No, no se sabe. Y son más palabras. Son dos, cuatro, cinco, como seis, seis o siete palabras. ¿Verdad? Y las otras solo son cuatro, o sea que es casi el doble. Pero no dan ninguna información que a usted le pueda dar una, una pista de qué es lo que quiere hacer. ¿Verdad? Ok. Now, uh, in our sentence, the four keywords, sell, car, gone, friends, are accentuated or stressed. Why is this important for pronunciation? 
it is important because it adds music to the language. It is the rhythm of the English language. It changes the speed at which we speak and listen to the language. The time between each stress word is the same. In our sentence, there is one syllable between cell and car and three syllables between car and gun. But the time between cell and car and between car and gun is the same. We maintain a constant beat on the stress words. To do this, we say my more slowly and because I've more quickly. We change the speed of the small structure words so that the rhythm of the key content words stays the same. ¿Entendieron esto? No. Vaya, si se fijan aquí, al principio aquí hay dos palabras que son structure words. Eh, de ahí viene el, el, esta que es la, 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 eh, donde está el estrés, que es la, la content word. Después va solo una palabra entre cel y car y después van tres palabras entre eh, car y gone. Después hay una palabra entre gone y friends. Pero el tiempo que nos vamos a ocupar para decir las structure words entre cada uno de las content words va a ser el mismo. A pesar de que sean más palabras. Pero el tiempo va a ser el mismo. O sea, will you sell my car because I've gone to France? O sea, lo que se requiere es que se oiga como que las, las, los, los acentos de, de, de la oración van a ir siempre como al mismo ritmo. ¿Verdad? Entonces, este, por eso, Will you sell my car because I've gone to France? ¿Verdad? Entonces, because I've va más rápido que my. My hacen un poquito más largo para que siempre el beat siempre vaya al, 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 a la misma a la misma um, al mismo tiempo. Oh, no, 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 no. Al mismo tiempo. Así como, no sé si se acuerdan cuando este en español los ponían a, a, a que viéramos las las, las, sílabas las, sílabas. Métricas, las sílabas métricas en los poemas. Mm. ¿Verdad? Que, que cada, cada, cada oración tenía que medir X cantidad. ¿Verdad? Y que había ciertas palabras que se unían con otras. ¿Verdad? Para hacer una sola sílaba métrica. Entonces, que era como para darle el... el el, el sentido, el, el, el ritmo al poema. Ah, pues es lo mismo, es, es en inglés, ¿verdad? Pero aquí no solamente a la hora de, de estar escribiendo poesía, sino que a la hora de hablarlo. Por eso es que, si ustedes se fijan, cuando hablamos en español, nuestra voz suena diferente que cuando hablamos en inglés. No. Esta es otra oración donde, si se fijan, eh, lo que está en mayúscula es donde va el acento o, o, la, o, o lo fuerte de la oración. Mira. I'm a professional phot photographer whose main interest is to take special black and white 
photograph that exhibit abstract meanings in their photographic structure. ¿Verdad? Entonces, eso es eh, otro, otro ejemplo de cómo, cómo resaltar los acentos, ¿verdad? O sea, esto es para resaltar los acentos. Cuando usted escribe normalmente, no es bueno que ponga eh, 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 letras mayúsculas en medio de letras minúsculas, ¿verdad? Sino que aquí es para que usted se fije dónde va el acento. Entonces, eh, content words stressed, ¿verdad? Acuérdense que los, los content words siempre van a ser stressed, siempre van a ser acentuadas, ¿verdad? ¿Y cuáles son los tipos de, de palabras que eh, serían content words? Serían los main verbs, o sea, lo, los verbos principales. ¿verdad? El verbo principal es el más importante, el verbo en la oración, ¿verdad? Hay algunas oraciones que pueden ser eh, lo que llamamos este complex sentence o compound sentence. O sea, que son más de una oración en una, o sea, hay más de un verbo en una misma oración. Entonces, este ambos serían main verbs, ¿verdad? Después están los nouns, ¿verdad? Los nombres, ya sea nombres propios o nombres comunes, ¿verdad? Los nombres propios sería el, este, los nombres ya sea de personas o de ciertos países o de lugares, ¿verdad? Esos son los nombres propios. Y los nombres comunes son así como silla, mesa, ¿verdad? Este, cualquier cosa objeto o cosa, o gato, o qué sé yo, ¿verdad? Adjectives son eh, las, las palabras que, le, que califican al nombre o determinan al nombre, ¿verdad? Y los adverbs son palabras que califican o determinan a los, a los verbos, a, los, a otro adverbio, a adjetivos, y también a nombres, ¿verdad? Y los negative auxiliaries son, este, digamos, como don't, aren't, ¿verdad? Eh, didn't. Esos son negative auxiliaries, o sea, el auxiliar que va con el not. ¿Ok? Entonces, este... Y aquí están los ejemplos, ¿verdad? Main verbs, sell, give, employ, y toda la lista de verbos que yo le di, todos los que son verbos, que son como, ¿qué? como 500 o 600 verbos. Este, y los nouns, car, music, eh, Mary, ¿verdad? Car, carro, music, música, Mary, el nombre de una persona. Los adjectives, red, big, interesting. Los adverbs, quickly, why, never. Y los negative auxiliaries, don't, aren't, can't. ¿verdad? Entonces, todos esos son ejemplos de lo que son content words. O sea, lo, lo, los, las palabras que van a ser acentuadas en una oración. Y aquí tenemos lo que son las structure words. Estas son unstressed. ¿Verdad? No son, no son este, acentuadas. Entonces, ¿cuáles son las, las, las eh, palabras que, sí, que son sí. structures? Serían los pronouns, o sea, no nombres, sino que pronombres. Como I, you, he, she, we, you, they. So pronouns. También está este, me, him, her. Your, our, ¿verdad? Oh, sí, sí. Son pronombres también, pero son object pronouns, o sea, que van al final. Las prepositions, ¿verdad? Que tanto hay preposiciones de tiempo, de, de, oh, wow. de espacio, ¿verdad? Las prepositions. 
los articles, los artículos, eh, las conjunctions y los auxiliary verbs. Entonces, ¿cuáles son los, pron los pronombres? Ya se los dije y aquí también tienen algunos ejemplos. He, we, they. Aquí se les olvidó ellos poner lo que son los object pronouns, porque estas solo son personal pronouns, pero también hay object pronouns. Las prepositions on, at, into. Los articles, estos son todos. Los indefinite articles y los definite articles. Entonces, a, an, the. Las no. conjunctions. And, but, because. Y los auxiliary verbs. Do, be, have, can, must, etc. ¿Ok? Entonces, estas... Se los, se los eh, sugiero que se los aprendan, ¿verdad? O sea, esta, estos dos charts son muy importantes para saber dónde es que usted va a hacer como más fuerza a la hora de estar leyendo una oración. ¿Verdad? Entonces, esto le va a servir mucho para la pronunciación del inglés. Entonces, the rules above are for what is called neutral or normal stress. But sometimes we can stress, estas son exceptions, but sometimes we can stress a word that could normally be only a structured word. For example, to correct information. Look at the following dialogue. They've been to Mongolia, haven't they? No, they haven't. Dice que aquí they está acentuado. Sí. Y es un pronombre. Pero estamos queriendo corregir información. Entonces, esta es una excepción a la regla. Entonces, no, they haven't. But we have. O sea, ellos no, pero nosotros sí. Not that when B is used as a main verb, it is usually on stress. Even so, as a main verb, it is also a content verb. O sea, el verbo to be, eh, en, en este caso se ocupa eh, sin, sin darle fuerza. Porque acuérdense que el verbo to be eh, es bien peculiar porque también es auxiliar para sí mismo. ¿Ok? Entonces ahora se van a su, a su WhatsApp y ahí tienen esta forms, ya se los puse yo ahí, para que hagamos el quiz. ¿Verdad? Hagamos el quiz ahí en WhatsApp. Aquí tengo abierto para revisar que lo hagan. Aquí está. Quiero ver. Eh, si quieren, les paso también el, el, el o oh, si tienen alguna duda o consulta, me lo dicen y le vuelvo a poner aquí este, la información. O oh, les paso ahorita ya el, 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 el PPT al WhatsApp. Sí, ¿verdad? Eh, eh. A mí me gusta darles copia. Sí, <risa> sí. Le puede pasar el PPT ahorita. Así no tengo problema que me voy a olvidar más tarde. Hoy ya le cayó. <risa> Ah, 
ahí está para que revisen la información de nuevo. No es copia. Uh -huh. Es como se llama, es solo estar seguro de la información. Pardon? Teacher, I have a question. Yes. What do you mean in the, the question to say, which is the normal neutral stress pattern? Mm -hmm. What is the meaning? Uh, acuerde, uh, the normal stress pattern is this one that I say, this is the main, uh, the words that had to be stressed and these are the words that have not to be stressed. Then that, that is the neutral or normal stress. Uh, the, the, the things, for example, this, that this is the content, the uh, words that had to be stressed. And these are the structured words that had to be uh, on stress. That is the neutral or normal stress, but there are exceptions. For example, to correct information. And this is the section. Here we are stressing they and we, and they are not supposed to be stressed because they are pronouns. But to correct information, we stress them. Okay, so the normal or neutral stress is when you stress the content words and on stress the structure words. Okay. What does mean? Pattern. 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 Yes. Es patrón. Así oh, como, yeah. como, eh, como, como aquí. This is the pattern. Okay. El patrón. Yes. This is the pattern. Content words stress. Structure words non stress. This is the pattern. Okay. Okay. And the neutral or normal structure is this also. When you stress the content words and the unstress the structure words.
wish stress do you want to do it together the, the... oh one the last one. ended the last i have a problem the last let me see it's a question and in the sentence i'm sure they work for the police ready Okay. Oh, for people. Nice. We stress Comparto aquí la nota o, o se la ve. Eh, no le salió la nota todavía. Sí. ¿Le salió? Sí. Okay. La mayoría se ha equivocado casi en la misma. Mm. <laughs> aquí estoy viendo, quieren ver. Yeah. No, no, miss, no yet, please. Ah, <laughs> deja gustar el Yo voy de camino a mi casa, teacher, entonces no lo he podido hacer. Okay, no problem. You, you do it when you get home. Okay, thank you. Okay, don't worry. Remember that this is something I made by myself. It's not even in the platform. It's something just to check your knowledge of uh, <laughs> material, extra material. Sí, sí. Oh, este, no. Ustedes tienen ahí eh, en, en, en el documento, hay, hay un, un correo que les mandaron donde está el enlace de WhatsApp y ahí ah, también está el enlace de YouTube. Ah, ok. Ok, uh -huh. yo lo reviso ahí entonces. Ok. Porque está bien interesante y sí tengo que repasarlo y, y, y prestar atención. Sí, es que yo vi que estaba demasiado expuesto en el... En el, en el En, en la plataforma y, y la, como yo, yo me emociono yo me emociono cuando esté dando clase está, está bien interesante la forma como lo ha explicado entonces quiero volverla a escuchar ok nice es que como les digo ustedes son mi oasis en el desierto así que Me preparo para darles la clase. You love your work. And it's, it, it is always according to the platform. Okay? Siempre de acuerdo a la plataforma, pero eh, ampliándoles un poquito más. Para que valga la pena venir a la clase. Mm -hmm. Ya hay otros más. ¿Quieren que los revisemos entre todos el examen o todavía no? A mí es. Ya es teacher. ¿Sí? Ya es teacher. Ya es teacher. Ya es. Let's check it. Well, this is individually. Okay. But we have now we have the questions here. Let's do it. Which words in a sentence are usually stressed? We say the content words. Content, content words. words. Okay, content words. Now, uh, which words carry little meaning but make a sentence grammatically correct? Structure words. Structure words. Structure words. Structure words. When speaking English, we try to create a rhythm 
in which the time between is I put say I put the same. Que aunque son tres palabras, lo que se hace es que se lee más rápido y si es una sola, se alarga. Okay. It's the same. Which is a list of content words? They should show or Donald's eyes small. Donald's eyes small. Donald's eyes small. Este Donald's es un noun. Este es otro noun. Y este es este, ¿cómo se llama? Adjective. 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 Okay. Now, which are not usually stressed? Preposition. 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 Not usually stressed. Now, which is the normal neutral stress pattern? If you can call, if you mm -hmm. can call me in the morning. If you can call me in the morning. morning. The first. The first. The first. The first. If you the can first. call me in the morning. The first, because it's verb, verb, and noun. Okay. Which is the normal neutral stress pattern? They went to London to visit the queen. The second. The second. To visit the queen. The second. The verb, name, verb, verb, noun, and noun. Okay. Yeah. Now, which is the normal neutral stress pattern? If we cook, could you um, wash what? the dishes? Okay. Cook, we verb, cook. verb, noun. This is the okay. first. The first one. The and exception to the rule. I, I, we can also stress words in order to wrong information. I can understand. I, I don't understand this. Vaya, okay. Aquí tenía que escoger la palabra que tiene que ir en medio aquí, en el espacio. Uh, ¿Cuál sería? Provide uh -huh. or provide. Perfect? Mm -hmm. I put provide, but it's correct. Oh, yes, correct. it's correct. It's mm -hmm. correct. O sea, an exception I, I to don't the understand. Rule. We can also stress structured words in order to correct, correct. information. One information. Uh, yeah. Now, which stress pattern corrects this statement? I'm sure they work for the police. They don't. They don't, they don't, but we do. They don't, but we do. Like we do. Uh -huh. Esa es el que lo okay. Yes. Okay. Y okay. that was... La mayoría salió bastante bien. Yes. Yes, yes. Here is the summary. Okay. La mayoría salió bastante bien. Y para hacer algo que, que casi que inmediato que lo, que lo vieron, se, se, o sea, no han estudiado, ¿verdad? Ni nada por el estilo. Entonces, lo, pero lo... Congratulations. Si hubieran tenido chance de estudiar, hubiera salido mejor. Pero no se preocupen, esto no va a salir en el examen de ustedes de Mitchell. Este es solamente, acuérdense que hay información que yo les estoy dando extra. Yes. Ok. Now let's go to the PowerPoint presentation. Ok. Esto ya lo vimos. Okay, now, the lesson objective. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation and will introduce to comparisons with adjectives by expressing preferences. Okay. Now, uh, follow 
the reading. Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one, why? It looks warmer. Aquí le puse solo wool on. Y es wool one. Wow. Wow. Aquí va una E. Después se los corrí. Okay. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Mm, there is no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's 499. Would you like to try it on? Oh, no, thanks. Okay, but thanks anyway. <laughs> That's okay, but thanks anyway. Sí, que me gusta, my... pero casi 500 dólares. Yes. You're welcome. Very expensive. Very expensive. Yeah. Very expensive. No se la quiso ni probar. <laughs> Yo me lo vieron que se ha probado. <laughs> en tecapicho, yes. Mm -hmm. Pues sí, o sea, solo para ver cómo se mira, ¿verdad? Entonces, y de repente tal vez puedo ahorrar suficiente dinero como para comprarla. Yo soy de esas. O sea, si yo veo algo y me gusta, lo trato de conseguir, ¿verdad? Es más, algunas veces, eh, sometimes I, I, I pass through ad hoc because most of my of my shoes and in El Salvador were ad hoc. And then I look at what pair of shoes and I like it, but it's too expensive for me. Then I say, no, I will wait for it to uh, get down the, the price. And it, it might cost uh, $50 or $60. And sometimes it drops to $10 but you had to wait, okay? Most of the uh, shoes I, I bought were less than $10 and were from a dog, but just to wait, I just had to wait for six or seven months mm -hmm. for the prices to drop. The only thing is that in my case, uh, my, my size, my, the, the size of my shoes are very common for Salvadorian people. So those sizes are the ones that goes faster. But you always find a, 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 a shop that has your size at a very, very uh, cheap price. Now, uh, repeat after me. Look. 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 These jackets are really nice. These jackets, These jackets are, are really nice. nice. Which one do you prefer? Which one, Which one, one do, you do you prefer? prefer? I like the wool one better. I, I like, I like the, the wool one, one better. The wool one? Why? The one It looks warmer. It looks warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. Well, well I, I, like, I like the leather, leather one better. It's more stylish. It's more, it's more, stylish. more stylish than the wool one. Than the, than than the wool one. one. Mm, there is no price tag. Mm, there is no price tag. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. How much is this jacket? How much, How much is, is this jacket? jacket? It's four hundred ninety nine. It's four hundred ninety nine. Would you like to try it on? Would you like to try it on? Like to try it on? Oh, no, that's okay. But oh, thanks. No. That's, that's okay. okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. okay. Anyway. Thank you. anyway. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. 
Now, volunteers. Okay, Yancy yes. Mayen. Yes. Necesit Hoy necesitamos tres personas. We need three people now. Carlos, Yancy, one more. Okay, Carla. Uh, Yancy will be Ann, Carla will be Sue, and Carlos will be uh, the clerk. Okay? okay. Go ahead. Okay. Look, this jacket is really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one? Why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more st stylish, stylish than the wool one. Mm, there is no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this, is this jacket? It's 499. Would you like to try it on? Um, no, thanks. Okay. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. Okay, thank you very much. Now I need other three volunteers. Okay. Mateo, you will be the clerk. And Janet, you will be Anne. And Veronica, you will be Sue. Okay. Janet. Um, me mueve la, la. Ay, perdón. Okay. <laughs> Look, these checks are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one? Why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish. That's the wool one. There is no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's for $499. Would you like to try it on? Mm, no, that's okay. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. Okay, thank you. Okay, other th three volunteers, please. Uh, Lisette Esmeralda, could you be on, please? Okay. Uh, Daniel Jeremias, could you be uh, the clerk? And Lourdes Gonzalez, could you be soon, please? Yes. Okay. Look, this jacket are really nice. What one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one? Why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the layer one better. This more style than the world one. Mm, there is no price tag. Excuse me, how much is the jacket? It is four hundred ninety nine. Well, would you like to try it on? Mm, no, thank. Okay, but thank anyway. You're welcome. Okay, thank you. Um, Floridalia, could you be Ann? Melida Saray, could you be Sue? And Josue Gonzalez, could you be the clerk? Okay, look. Okay. Look, these jackets are really nice. Which? 
I like the wool one better. The wool, the wool on. <laughs> it looks warmer. ¿Qué pasó? Hola. Ay. Yo creo que. Well, excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> well, I like the letter one better. It's more sty stylish than that the gold one. Mm, this is not price price tag. Excuse me, how much is the jacket? It's for hundred ninety nine. Would you like to try it? You know. Ooh, no, that's okay. But but thanks uh, anyway. You're welcome. <laughs> A usted sí que le salió bien lo asombrada del precio. <laughs> Thank you. Eh, que le puse un poco de sazón al final, teacher. Sí. <laughs> Thanks. Me pareció verla comprando. Me sentí en el papel, teacher. Sí. Thank you. Now, eh, ¿quién, ¿quiénes me hacen falta de pasar? Yo. Ok, could you be on, please? ¿Alguien más falta? Nadie más falta. No. Ok. Now, let's start then. Quien dijo que faltaba pasa como an. Y. No. Ajá, ok. Do this jacket are really, really nice? Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool on why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the letter one better. It's more stylish. Thank the wall one. Mm, there is no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's 499. Would you like to try it on? Mm, no, thank you. Okay, but thank you anyway. You're welcome. Okay. Now we finish. Uh, tomorrow we will have the rest of the section and we also will check uh, the, the exam. Uh, if you have any doubts about it and you are supposed to be doing that exam from tomorrow to Thursday, on Thursday we will check it, uh, but uh, not only if you have questions, but uh, the answers. We will check the answers, okay? Uh, and that will be the week of classes, okay? And we are with the, we are meeting the, the, uh, the time as they request. O sea, ya para, para, estaríamos como a la mitad de, de lo que es el curso, ya para final de esta semana. Entonces, the, the next week, you will be completing at least the 80% of the platform. And I wish that you can go ahead on, on, during the weekend. So you can make uh, the section four during this weekend. 
then uh, you won't have any problems when they are asking you for all the paperwork for, for, for the next course, okay? So it's better if you go ahead and not behind, okay? Take care, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.